that season average of nearing 80 points. Well, or at least closer do. than, because it didn't look like it was going to be yeah. anywhere near that. Well, when they do, he reached that 80 point average. They're undefeated this year. Ben Bell starts it off early, and we haven't heard from Ben Bell hardly at all tonight. Well, really, you know, I think Ben Bell. Not well, from that, a scoring standpoint. Well, that is only his second point. <laughs> Those are his first points yeah. of the game. But, you know, really, it goes back to Ben Bell there in the fourth, in the. In the second half, he stole the inbound pass and it allowed the Mean Green to come back. Kendrick Davis steals the pass away. Quincy Williams there for an offensive rebound. Misses the shot and Lafayette back the other way. Millsap ahead of the pack. Watson has no chance to block that shot. It's a slam dunk from Millsap. Yeah. On the floor for North Texas, Ben Bell, Kendrick Davis, Harold Stewart, Quincy Williams, and Calvin Watson. Bell drives left, throws right. Quincy Williams, or uh, Calvin Watson sets his feet. Deep three-pointer, no good. Harold Stewart there for the offensive board. Davis is wide open at the top of the key. Somebody needs to get him the ball. Watson throws it inside to Williams, and a jump ball situation will Ken go Lafayette's way. Kendrick Davis just kind of with a frown on his face. Just I was wide open at the top of the key. Can somebody look at me, please? On the floor for Lafayette, Elijah Millsap, David Dees, and Adam James. Lago set to check back in for North Texas, and Moten's out there as well. Well, overtime. And here goes one of those four freshmen that's been seen a lot of time. It's Lago for Lafayette. He receives the inbound pass. 66-66. Both teams have scored two points. How much pressure is that on him as a freshman here in the overtime game? Thanks to Taylor Lumpson. He is my uh, beverage coordinator tonight. Waterboy. Oh, he's done a great job for me. Derek, or uh, David Dees, he threw me off guard. David Dees drives left, shot up, no good. Harold Stewart rebound for North Texas. Big, big return outing for Harold Stewart. Coming up with a big rebound here in the clutch part of overtime. Bell runs the offense, throws a crazy pass to Harold Stewart. Luckily, he was ready for it, but, uh, well, I think that's what it was. He wasn't ready and just found the ball in his hands. Down to 313, left in overtime. Inside to Stewart. And offensive foul. Harold Stewart with his back to the basket just continued to lean in, lean in, lean in, and Lafayette player fell down for the offensive foul. Taking the charge was Elijah Millsap, one of those freshmen that we talked about and getting a lot of minutes, and he has 15 points here tonight. Well, uh, with 3.08 left and a little bit of delay in the action, let's go to the courtside sidelines with Brian St. John. Well, if North Texas happens to win this game, they'll have to do it without their bread and butter, the three-point shot. They've only made four so far tonight. That ties for the lowest total set back in the Texas State game back on November 25th. So good and information the, from Brian. And the opponents have eight, which is, my math says, twice as many. Yeah. 35 rebounds for North Texas. They've taken that advantage back from Lafayette by one, 35-34. But the score, 66 all with three minutes left in OT. This is North Texas' only second overtime game this year. They had one against New Orleans that they lost. Quincy Williams blocked shot out of bounds. But had it not been for missed free throws at the end of that game, they could have beaten New Orleans in overtime. So this season, uh, both teams looking for their first overtime victory. Quincy Williams trying to do his part to help North Texas get there. Inbounds pass goes to Moten. Dribbles back up now. Shot clock at 15 to Haybear. 66-66, 2.45 left in the, four, in the fourth. In overtime. In overtime. In the first overtime. And I hope we don't have four of them. David Dees oh. is fouled and won. On a pump wow. fake, he uh, went up and made the shot off the backboard. And instead of four, hopefully we don't have seven like the North Texas uh, football team did earlier this year. In fact, tied a, tied a collegiate record. It was North Texas' first overtime game, and they tied a collegiate record with it. I think North Texas just wants to get out of here with a win. Dees yeah. has been the killer for North Texas, and he adds another free throw to give 21. Lafayette a three-point advantage. So 21 points for the man wearing number 21, David Dees. Rich Young checks out. Calvin Watson in. Yeah, we definitely need some firepower off the bench. Now trailing by three, and as Saint, uh, Brian St. John just reported, three-pointers have not been the key for North Texas tonight, but, boy, they could use one here. Remember earlier, right before uh, regulation ended, they were down six, and a deep three-pointer by Stewart mm -hmm. cut the lead in half. Davis opts to drive all the way baseline, up and in, off the left-handed glass, and it's 69-68. And with that, Davis now 16 points in the game, leading the Mean Green scores. 
There's three Mean Green players in double digits. It's Quincy Williams with 13 and also Calvin Watson with 13. 19 points for Kendrick okay, 19 Davis. 19 points for KD. David Dees backing up uh, the backing up uh, Wooden underneath, and or Davis, but the foul is going to be on Davis. It seems like the, the game plan for Louisiana Lafayette is just basically give the ball to, to Dees and let him work it down low and just basically drive the lane because, Dees. you know, one or two things are going to happen. He's going to score or he's going to get fouled. He's going to shoot free throws. Dees leads all scorers with 21. North Texas trails Lafayette 69-68. 2.06 left in the first OT. Dees, free throw, makes it. He's been uh, pure from the charity strap all night. He'll have one more. 70-68. Lafayette leading North Texas. Still plenty of time. 2.06 left in the overtime. Dees bends his knees. Free throw. Good. Dees. They just last five. Coach Lee is happy with that. North Texas needs a basket here on this end of the floor. Bell takes it all the way to the hoop. Yes. Wow. How, how the running floater from uh, Ben Bell. How impressive has he been since about 30 seconds left in, in regulation? He makes the, the steal, allows for the Mean Green comeback, and he has two baskets here in overtime. 71-70, Louisiana Lafayette. Lago has trouble with the basketball, almost double dribbled with it. And that's freshman trouble if that happens to freshman. Kendrick Davis, how about that? Slapping the ground, you know he's set to play some defense. He's waiting for Dees, he says come on. But Dees has 23 in the game, so this is the two offensive firepowers going against each other. And again. Dees drives on Wooden, no foul called, scramble for the loose ball. Finally, Quincy Williams comes away with it for North Texas, but he loses it and he shot is fouled. Too. No one had control of it, you're exactly right, a shot clock violation. Wow, how many times, it was like a ping pong around there, just ping, ping, ping. First Quincy Williams had it, then I thought Millsap had it, then I thought Wago had it, and then I thought maybe Calvin Watson had it. And, well, now North Texas has it. And uh, Quincy Williams might get credited with a rebound there, but maybe not because nobody really had control of it. Well, hopefully he will. Maybe we'll give him credit for the double-double. Well, getting closer. Either way, North Texas has the basketball. They trail by one, 71-70, 1-19 left in the first overtime. No, pr no pressure coming in the backcourt, but... Uh, Hey Bear is waiting right at the midcourt line to pick up Ben Bell. And you have to do that because Bell, as you mentioned, four points mm -hmm. here in the overtime. He's been clutch here late in the game. It wasn't if it wasn't for Ben Bell, North Texas might not be in this situation that they're in right now. It was 64-64 at the end of regulation. Bell drives left. He has four points. See if he tries to go for six. He just goes away from traffic. Wide open. Keith Wooden takes it to the hoop. Misses it off the front of the rim. And Wooden almost fouls uh, James in the backcourt. Not what you want. Bell knocks the basketball out of bounds. I don't know how Wooden misses that shot. He was about just four feet from the rim. I'll tell you how he misses it. He was wild to the hoop. He uh, wasn't really under control, it didn't appear. And all these fans here at the Super Pit are on their feet for Mean Green. And Wooden and James tangled up, but uh, everybody seems kinda, to be okay. I think that was out of frustration. Wooden just mad. He didn't make the shot. Now Wooden takes a seat on the bench, replaced by Rich Young. Voting to inbound. Gets the pass into Millsap. And there's there's not a strong rebounding team out there for North Texas right now. They do have the Q out there. 71-70. Lafayette leads North Texas. Game clock at 42. Shot clock at 18. David Dees has the basketball and 23 points to lead all scores. Next so, to him, Elijah Millsap with 17. With 10 seconds on the shot clock, North Texas should still have a chance to at least shoot a tying bucket. Ben, ben Bell with the steal. Nobody in front of him. He almost loses the basketball. Goes up with his left hand. He double dribbled with the ball first. He did. He did, he did double dribble. And that is just so disappointing for a player like Ben Bell to come off the steal like that. And now Lafayette's going to get the ball with 24 seconds on the clock. They can basically run it out. Well, no shot clock, so North Texas will have to foul. Both teams are in the bonus. And That's Coach just, Jones uses his timeout in the overtime. It's just, it's just disappointing for everyone here in the Super Pit. Ben Bell had the steal, had a fast break to it, and just somehow lost control of it, double dribbled. You know, and it's almost better just pass it off in that situation. He had Watson running with him. It's, it's far tough. from over. It's far from over. 
Lafayette will go to the free throw line after uh, the inbounds pass. You have to expect North Texas to foul right away. And Coach Johnny Jones in the huddle with the chalkboard drawing it up right now as we speak. But uh, unfortunately, at our last report with 328 left in the first half, or second half, Lafayette was 13 of 17 from the free throw line and it has only gotten better since then. Yeah. Well, since then, David Dees has shot four free throws and made them all. 71-70, Lafayette leads North Texas. 24 seconds left in overtime, so fans have some life back to them as they realize still time. Hey, maybe another steal. Ben Bell was able yeah. to do that mm -hmm. at the end of regulation. And he did it right here in overtime. You know, and, and still, even if even if Louisiana Lafayette makes both their shots, it's only a three-point lead. North Texas is great at shooting the three-pointer. They haven't showed that necessarily in this game, but traditionally they're a great three-point shooting team. We sure would have to think that Brian St. John's report about three-pointers is not true mm -hmm. if it comes down to that yeah. because North Texas needs it. Let's look at the hustle stats and 37 rebounds for Louisiana Lafayette, 35 for North Texas. On the assist, 11 for Lafayette, 10 for North Texas. And the Mean Green and the Raging Cajuns tied in the steals category at nine. North Texas will need one more, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Block shots, North Texas and the Mean Green have the advantage. Six, hey, two. Hey, we can use one of those, too. We can use a block shot right now. This man wants a three-pointer from the pit crew. But uh, it's 71-70. Lafayette leads North Texas. Lafayette has to go the length of the floor, 24.4 left. You know Scrappy's pumped up. And you know Coach Jones is telling the referees, look for a foul because we're going to try to do that. No one guards the basketball. Instead, Quincy Williams plays the safe man back on the far end of the court. James to inbound, and that's exactly why, because two players run deep. Millsap with it. They try to get a steal in the backcourt first. Double team comes. Now up to court. Where's the foul? James throws off to Millsap. A wide open man underneath the basket. A hard foul. That's a good, hard, clean foul from Ben Bell. You don't want any momentum swings, and Moten will go to the free throw line for two. Well, he hit the floor hard. He's kind of wincing his left eye a little bit. I think he might have came down head Well, first. now the referees are discussing was it a flagrant foul, and that really puts North Texas in a bad situation. The North Texas fans are wanting a jump ball. They all have their thumbs up in the well, air. It looked like it might have been a blocked shot. We'll wait for the replay on it. Foul on Ben Bell, pushed from behind, they say, and two free throws for Moten. the replay. Ben Bell goes up, and he clears he did, he did go over the back of Moten, so it will be two free throw attempts. That's a good hard foul, though. You want to make him earn them from the charity strike. And I don't think that was flagging. There was no unnecessary, unnecessary contact there, and I think this is just a good hard foul by Bell. As we mentioned, North Texas, or I mean, uh, this is it. Lafayette has been great free throw shooters. That's a huge free throw. Now you have to make sure you come up with a rebound if this shot is missed. You almost hope that, that the shot is just made so that doesn't happen. If it's made, there's no timeout left for Coach Jones, but a two-point basket would tie it. Free throw is good, two-point advantage. This is a great so situation you, for North Texas. Did you go for the two or you shoot the three for the win? Down to 12 seconds left. You have to go inside and try to get the two-point basket. Bell, just find the open he's been look. the key in overtime if he doesn't lose the basketball. Kendrick Davis at the top of the key, down to four seconds left, drives in. At the buzzer, counted, and a foul. Two seconds left. And a foul. So a KD, foul. KD waiting to make the winning free throw. What a move by Kendrick Davis. He dribbled all the way around the three-point line, then wrapped it around, went to drive the baseline, split two defenders, and the easy left-handed layup. Look at Lucky, Davis Lucky winning the defender. Almost lost the ball. Just great left-handed shot by Kendrick Davis. Wow. Lafayette 72, North Texas 72, and Kendrick Davis... Hasn't played many games uh, since he's returned off that nine-game injury to the right hand, but he's made an impact, and that for Kendrick Davis put him to 21 above his season average, but the 22nd point is the most important. And remember, Coach Lee still has a timeout for Lafayette. You expect him to take it right away. For all these fans here at the Super Pit, you know they're coming back to see North Texas basketball after the excitement that we've seen here tonight. They're earning their uh, money's worth, and yeah. again, North Texas – is nearing uh, that 80 point margin, their season average. Kendrick Davis with one more free throw. Well, hopefully 73 is all they need here tonight. And Davis from the line is two of two. And the crowd goes hush as Davis prepares for his free Boy, throw. Boy, it does. It changed uh, after a loud, wild crowd. Very silent. He makes and the free made throw. It. Wow. Davis so, just clutch. 73-72, North Texas leads. The Lafayette Raging Cajuns, a turn of events. The fans are happy, but don't forget, Lucas, with 24 seconds left, this crowd was down. You thought yes. the game was over. So 
don't put it past that this is all of a sudden a North Texas victory. Two seconds is a lot of time. And really, you know, in a player that's not going to show up in, in, in the box score tomorrow, Ben Bell. He had the hard foul there at the very end. Moten misses one of the two free throws. And here comes Kendrick Davis right down the floor, makes the bucket, then shoots the free throw for the winning point. Well, you know, there's still two seconds here on the clock. What type of play do you think Lafayette's going to run? Well, they have to go through Elijah Millsap from Grambling, Louisiana, or David Dees, the six foot three junior guard from Dayton, Ohio. David Dees yeah, it's gotta go Dees. has scored 23 points. That's a game high, just one ahead of Kendrick Davis's 22. But Lafayette has to go the length of the court. Let's check in real quickly our sideline reporter. And never mind, we will uh, stay I think, here. I think he's uh, caught up in the hype as well. Must be. Uh, James to inbounds. That's a good choice to inbound. Six foot nine, 250 pound senior from Lafayette. And North Texas will not guard the inbound play. Looking for D's. They find him. It's going to have to be a long shot from half court. I don't think he got it off in time. I don't think he got it off in time. And they will have to. They will have to look at the replay monitor. And this has come wow. into effect twice in wow. one year. Would you believe this situation has come so into Dees. effect now? I don't know if that one was good. We so will Dees have to. Make, Murray oh no, says, says it was it still was in not, his hands. Says the ball was in his hands. Again, the Shot officials no will, will look at the replay monitor. Let's not speculate too much. Let's let it the officials do that. Close, though. And uh, close. right now the score stands North Texas with a one-point lead. And uh, the referees will look at it and check the replay. Remember, this goes back to the UTA game, which when Brian St. John mentioned. Replay. And uh, replay was not available for North Texas, but uh, luckily Rick Villarreal, athletic director. And, and, and as you watch the replay, you see here that the shot clock goes off and the ball is still in his hands. Uh, Rick Villarreal, athletic director, a good decision to uh, get the replay monitor in here. And it says that it's uh, no good by our looks, but they're taking their sweet time down there on the sidelines. And uh, it appears that maybe it will be good. It's really taken them a long time to make a decision. And pointing out Coach Johnny Jones, he looked to the referees and immediately, Lucas, he pointed to the uh, officials and said, go to that replay monitor. Our view shows that it was in his hand yeah. and uh, the shot was not off as a red light was around but the uh, top. But look at everybody just waiting in anticipation for this. And uh, they're saying from our view here that it was no good on our replay monitor, well, the but they are still taking a very long look at this one. But again, well, the, the officials are still checking court side. He's telling the Lafayette players to get back, get back. And they're still checking out the replay monitor on the court side. Again, it shows that the uh, shot from David Dees was in his well, unless, hands. Unless the referee's looking at a different angle than from what we're looking at. This, I don't know how he can call that a made basket. Boy, this has taken a long time to decide. But our, our, our shot here says no bucket, that it was in his hands. And uh, if this is reversed the other direction, you might see an uproar. Uh, both teams are waiting to celebrate yes. one way or yes. another. And, and if you just – we're taking a look at the replay again, but – if we could get a shot, Jim, of these uh, players and fans and coaches, they are just waiting around. And it, this is almost becoming absurd to wait this long. It's really unbelievable. Uh, but he, at he least has, they are making sure the decision will be right. He has to be looking at more angles than what we're looking at. We have the one angle. He must be looking at it from a couple different angles, making sure it's the right call. I mean, it is a very close call, very close. Keith Wooden, Watson, and Davis huddled around uh, Coach Jones, and Man, everybody is just waiting in anticipation. You know, how else could, could the game like this end, though? It's been a great game the whole way through. It, it, just so many players you can talk about, what they have done. Talk Let's about Kendrick Davis making the free throw at the very end to give North Texas a one-point lead. People are behind us, and they want to look at our replay. Let's get that for them uh, one more time. And there's our replay with D's shot. Ball still in his hands as the red light goes off. Now they have made the announcement, but the official still, still there. looking there. I don't think he's giving the announcement. I think what they did was they showed the replay up high, and it finally gave North Texas some sort of hope that they might have won this one. And now the Lafayette players are all huddled around. I like the fact Especially that... Especially Dees is right in front. He's waiting to see. He's like, hey, that was my shot. I want to know. But well, you've got to give credit to David Dees, though. What a shot there at the end of the buzzer. He made it. It's just whether or not it counts. Well, it stands right now in North Texas, 73, Lafayette, 72. Again, what we're trying to figure out here was David Dees had a three-point shot from half court in which he made. And uh, there's the replay one more time. This is the second time this year at the pit it's come down to this. We have a... And the referee... A 
referees are still huddling together and no foul. So as you see the super pit erupting, players on the floor, just a disappointed Louisa and Lafayette group. You know, you gotta give it to David Dees though. He put the shot up at the end, it was good, just not in time. So, uh, North Texas doesn't let the replay monitor get them this time. It did against UTA earlier this season. North Texas, Mean Green come away with a 73-72 victory. And one final look at the shot from Dees. It is clear it was still in his hands as the buzzer went off. But what a great shot yeah, it was. It was a great shot. It yeah. would have given Dees 26 points. Instead, he finishes with a game-high 23 anyways. And Kendrick Davis leads all scores for North Texas with 22. North Texas, Mean Green take this one, 73-72. For all that have been a part of this one, for our sideline and courtside reporter, Brian St. John, for you, Lucas Vance, I'm Michael Westbrook saying we'll see you next time. It's been North Texas basketball on North Texas television. You're watching NTTV Sports.